The Raptors will battle in their first ever play-in game when they host the Chicago Bulls. Hey everyone, Rob Wong joined alongside by Toronto Sun Raptors writer Mike Ganser and Toronto Sun basketball writer Ryan Wolstad here to preview the Raptors play-in game against the Chicago Bulls. And Mike, let's start on the Raptors side of things. What is the one key for Nick Nurse's side against Chicago? It's been the same thing all year, Rob. It's defense and it starts with OG Ananobi on DeMar DeRozan. DeMar um, obviously comes into this game with a lot of motivation. I mean, it's not like he's forgotten that they traded him right before the championship or in order to get the championship. So, I mean, he's going to be motivated, and it's going to be on OG to actually limit him and limit his touches. Now, that's it's always far more complicated than that, especially with the Nick Nurse defense. I mean, he's going to come over. He's going to, he's going to be the first line of defense, and then it's going to be two or three bodies or an extra one or two bodies coming over and, uh, and, and trapping him. When that happens, DeMar, who's a very smart player, is going to get rid of the ball, and he's going to find the open shooter. Then it's on everybody else, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam, whoever else, to fly out to those shooters and, and limit those three-point attempts. It's not easy. It never is with Nick Nurse defenses, but that's what's going to have to happen. It's going to have to start with OG. And on the, As well with the Raptors, I feel like uh, the big advantage they're going to have is that home court advantage that they've had all year. They, I think they're – Tied for fifth in the East in uh, home wins with 27. They, it's been their fortress all year. They've stunk on the road pretty much, to be blunt. But at home, they've been a different team. The shots have been falling. Things have gone well for them. And they're going to feed off of a sellout crowd, um, which, which will be exciting to see. Excited to see something new. I don't know what you – you know, it's not quite playoffs, but it's definitely not the regular season. So it's kind of a fun little format, a win and go home, which we haven't really seen in a while. Um, so I think that's pretty much what they're going to feed off of. and. Uh, you know, they like like Mike said, they've played uh, Chicago pretty tough. They've really keyed up on the stars and made life difficult for them. And it's going to be up to the Chicago supporting cast to kind of help them out. And I'm not sure if, if they'll be up for that challenge. On the flip side, Ryan, you know, Mike talked about DeMar DeRozan, and that's going to be a huge narrative heading into this one, that he's looking for some sweet, sweet revenge. What is the uh, one thing that the Bulls need to do in order to move past this game? Well, they kind of like the Raptors. They need to hit some shots. These have been two pretty bad, uh, like amongst the worst of the worst, bottom of the barrel shooting teams in an NBA that's gone shot crazy. Uh, these guys can't really shoot straight. So if they get someone hitting, that'll be really dangerous. And guys like Zach Levine can really, really light it up from outside. Obviously, DeMar is the master of the mid-range. He's going to hit all those. Nikola Vucevic is a guy who... He might be looking for a bit of revenge, too, because Marcus Gasol used to shut him down in the in the playoffs and all the time. And I know Jakob Pertl's a very good defender, too, but maybe uh, Busevich will be better against him. And I think he's a big weapon for them because he he can step out and, and really hit threes at a big clip, too. So I think uh, I think we're pretty confident that it'll be a defensive struggle. And if the Bulls start hitting, they get hot. You know, as we said, it's just one game. Anything can happen. Uh, if they hit their shots, then Toronto's going to be in some trouble. And for me, I mean, I'm going to sort of jump on that and add sort of, well, narrow it down to Levine. I mean, if they, if they, if the Raptors do somehow manage to limit DeRozan, and again, that's not going to be easy, but if they manage to do that, the obvious next step is, is the, the game sort of, or the offensive part of Chicago's game goes to Levine and he's quite capable of, of, of lighting it up. I mean, he's, he's actually averaging close to 26 points a game in the last month. Um, he's even ahead of DeMar in that regard. If they can, if if Levine can get loose, and Fred Van Vliet has had, he's had some issues, uh, main, or containing bigger, faster uh, point guards. If he can get through and, and get into the paint and work from there, I think I think the Chicago Bulls have a very good chance of uh, of taking this. Well, it should be a fun game with a lot of different storylines at Scotiabank Arena on Wednesday night. For all of Mike and Ryan's Raptors and NBA coverage, head over to the Toronto Sun.